So my first area was Northridge. I mean, as I explained before, it was kind of a college town. I mean, California is interesting. I mean, you have pockets of rich and then not so rich. And so it was kind of like that on the hills was, was a little bit richer. Down um, in the neighborhoods was probably like more medium. And then the south side was uh, probably the rougher area, less uh, affluent, I guess you could say. Um, I loved it, though. It was, it was amazing. I learned a lot from that area. I was only there for six weeks, so it was really short. Um, got to really love the members in that area. And just um, one thing that I learned um, was the elders quorum president, definitely, and just his example and how fired up he was about the gospel and to see um, how that can truly affect and help a ward and how that can, as he's fired up, it starts from within inside, getting that fired up, getting the members excited about missionary work, sharing missionary experiences. And that was really big for me, just to be able to see how that really worked um, within that ward and, and just within the church. And just learning how to get out of my comfort zone, I feel. I mean, it was a short six weeks, but it was amazing to be able to see as you could come together with somebody I didn't even know. And as you were both focused on one thing and, and trying to work with each other, um, and it pushes you, you know, in different ways. And that just helped me a lot and just kind of helped build a foundation of getting out of my comfort zone and talking to people. I mean, it's, it's a pretty safe place. It's just basically known for the college. We run into college students a lot. I mean, we could proselyte on campus. It was mostly for the YSA sisters, though. So every time that we'd go in there, like, we would talk to them. And then if we if they found somebody interested, uh, we'd refer them to them. But a lot of the times, though, in that area, we were just verifying names for the bishop and then checking up on the members of the church. Um, and that kind of took the majority of our time. And we were teaching um, a former that we found who had been previously taken with the missionaries, found him again, um, and teaching a part member family. And they were amazing. And it was a really good situation. Came in and the part member family, he was almost done with the discussions. So I was able to, to finish that up with them and to be able to, to see him complete those. Um, I remember uh, the foreman's name was, was Eric Hall. And we were just looking through the area book and I felt inspired to go stop by him. And we went. I remember knocking on his door and he, and he opened up. And then saw us, he's just like, all right, man, yeah, get in here. And then we sit down and he started talking to us and was saying, you know, last time I think we had, had two really tall, tall white elders that came in here and we had to knock on the door and open it up. And I was like, yeah, man, saw a brother. I was like, yeah, we got brothers in the church, baby. That's it, man. And it was so funny. <laughs> and let us in and we were able to teach him for the next couple of weeks and was able to get baptized.